we need to evaluate, wow, I thought we did it, but let's evaluate the integral of the natural log of x dx, and here we're going to restrict x to be positive. Well, we have to, otherwise we have to put the absolute value here. Okay. What would be the uh, substitution here? Well, let u equals natural log of x, like so, and therefore the u equals um, dx. Um, now, before we're going to do the differentiation, remember, well, u equals natural log of x, the equivalent statement is e to the u equals x. So x equals e to the u, and therefore dx equals e to the u du. Okay? If u equals natural log of x, x equals e to the u. And now we have the following, the integral after the substitution. We started with natural log of, of x dx becomes the integral of u e to the u du. And integration by part. And the inter integration by part, u is u and e to the u, the u is v, is the v, so u times v is u e to the u minus the integral of v du, the u is the u, <laughs> so it's going to be minus the integral of e to the u du, and got the five minute warning. So we're looking at u e to the u minus e to the u, haven't we done it? We've seen this before, right? Or u minus one times e to the u plus c. And now u is natural log of x. So, and e to the u, let's see where we are. e to the u is x, so we are looking at, this is x, x times natural log of x minus one plus c. Actually, we can write it as x natural log of x minus x plus c. That this is better. Because otherwise you may think that x, the argument of the natural log is x minus 1. Yet u minus 1 is the natural log of x minus 1 and e to the u is simply x, and we get to this result. Let's evaluate dx divided by x uh, square root of natural log of x. What would be the strategy in this case? Again, simplify. So we're going to let u equals natural log of x. And as before, it means that x equals e to the u. We need to replace that. And dx equals uh, e to the u du. Those are all, those all are handy. Uh, substitution. So now the integral okay, so what do we have? The denominator the numerator dx is e to the u du. And the denominator, x is e to the u, 
in natural log of uh, square root of natural log of x is square root of u. So we have um, e to the u times square root of u, and look at how what happened here. What happened is we lose the e to the u, and we have the u divided by square root of u. This is something, isn't it? So, uh, what is the uh, antiderivative of e to the u? Just to remind you, we can write it like so. The antiderivative will be 2 times square root of u, or u to the 1 half, plus c. And with that, we finish the solution square root of u. Remember, u is the natural log of x, so 2 times the square root of natural log of x plus c. Example 6. We need to evaluate. We have the square root 1 minus 6 over 1 plus 6. The x. Okay, here's the case where we're going to multiply and divide by the conjugate to simplify the, integ the integrand. Uh, so you can see this strategy you're working out. First, we're going to split the integrand like so. And then this depends what we want to get rid of. If you want to uh, get rid of the radical, the radical in the de denominator, multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, which is the square root of 1 minus x. Okay. So, here we get rid of the square root altogether. You have 1 minus x dx. And this will be the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay. Now, we are ready to do a simple substitution. We have that already. Um, we can break it down into the integral of dx over the square root of 1 minus x squared plus the integral of, or minus rather, the integral of x dx over square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, this is the inverse. Uh, this is the inverse tangent, if you remember. One minus x squared is the inverse tangent, and this one, if you do a u substitution, um, it will be one half times two one over u. Remember, this will be uh, du, uh, x dx is one half u du. If you let u equals one minus x squared, actually, okay, I'll do it. Um, so, the integral of dx over square root of one minus x squared is the inverse sine of x plus c1, okay? the integral of x dx over square root of 1 minus x squared will be what? If we let u um, equals 1 minus x squared, then <coughs> du equals negative 2x dx. So x dx is negative 1 half u du. And here we have square root of u. Okay, so it will be negative one half integral of u to the negative one half the u, and of course the antiderivative will be uh, negative u to the one half plus c two. Okay.
So put together and get this one, the inverse sine, and this one is minus, we have minus here, this become minus negative, double negative, we have minus and minus, so there you have it. Yeah, that's why I, I, I eliminated the one-half, because it will be the antiderivative of u to the negative one-half is two u to the one-half. So you have one-half times two. So we lose, we lose this one-half here. From here. I'm, I'm sorry, there is, uh, there is no u in the numerator. That, that's a very good observation. This is simply one, negative one half the u. Thank you for the correction. Yeah, I, I, was, I rushed this because we are well after in, into overtime. So that's what happened when you, a person rush. All right, guys, thanks for staying uh, late with me. Um, we'll continue on, what, today is Tuesday, Thursday, I'll give you tables, we'll do stuff off the table.